What's going on gang, Retrospective Dave here, and in this video we will be legit checking the Palomino Air Jordan 1. So the first thing you want to do is a rock test and you'll notice that the right shoe will rock back and forth and the left shoe will remain still. Next, you'll want to make sure that you check the serial number behind the tongue tab and make sure that the last digit on that serial number corresponds with the size of your shoe. So once you remove the insoles from the shoe, you will see a light gray foam footbed that is usually neat and smooth in appearance on the authentic pairs and on the replica pairs, it's usually a darker gray, not as smooth and has more wrinkles. So as we move on to the sizing tag, you will notice that my shoes come from the XC factory in China with production dates of March 1st through April 24th, 2020. 23. If your shoes do not match the dates that you see on the screen, do not freak out as that is completely normal. All right, so when it comes to the upper of the shoe, specifically the brown parts, you will notice that it is distressed a little bit. Those panels will be distressed. So you'll see markings on the shoe here and there. On the replicas, it looks a little bit too perfect. So that's a red flag if you have a pair that has no markings on it at all. I would say that those panels are very reminiscent of the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1 panels. Moving on to the box, you will get a standard Air Jordan 1 box in the Palomino color. You you will also notice that you'll have a stamp underneath the box lid, you will have a YDM sticker inside of the box, and you will have no stickers or stamps underneath the box. Keep in mind also that when it comes to the replica boxes, they are usually smaller than the retail boxes. So if you want to compare your Jordan 1 box to another one that came out in 2023, definitely do so, especially if it's the same shoe size. All right, folks, now to wrap up today's legit check on the Palomino Air Jordan 1, let me know what you all think about the shoe in the comments section. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you indifferent? Also, if you have any questions past this video about your shoe uh, that I probably didn't answer in the video, please hit me up on Instagram at Retrospective Dave, and I will be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Until then, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.